<laughs> what, with Joe Biden, this is something that even Democrats are distancing themselves from him, where he tried to say, oh, yeah. well, yeah, yeah, we're going to phase out all fossil fuels. Yeah. Um, which isn't really what he, the problem is. He's just so good at pissing off everybody because the far sure. left people, he's not doing enough. Right. And then somehow he took a steaming dump on everyone in Pennsylvania. Yeah. As AOC was interviewed uh, on, on Jake Tapper. Uh, I was watching this yesterday. Uh, and uh, yeah, I watch it. So you got Sunday morning. So I get, <laughs> Skel oh, I get Skelter. Then I get uh, Jake Tapper. So and then I get uh, Fareed uh, Zaka. Uh, not the one with the bad haircut, Sanjay Gupta, the other one. Oh, okay. So anyway. Zakaria, yeah. Yeah, is it? Yeah. Sicario? Okay. Which is Sicario? 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 Sicario. I, thought he knew. I thought he was a drug Stop dealer. It. So <laughs> those I watched those every Sunday morning, and I watched AOC on there with Jake Tapper. <laughs> and ooh, this shows you the rift that is happening with the left and just how bad the Democratic Party is for the United States of America. So here is crazy eyes, AOC uh, talking <laughs> oh. about Joe Biden uh, being against a fracking ban. Vice President Biden has made very clear that he uh, does not agree with a fracking ban. And I consider that, a, you know, it, it will be a privilege to lobby him. <laughs> well, you also don't think we should have lobbyists and you wanted money out of oh, politics. So <laughs> crazy. <laughs> By the way, also, uh, this comes from uh, Americans for Tax Reform. Joe Biden, of course, said that he supported a fracking ban. Many, 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 Here we go. No more, no new fracking. We, we are, we are going to get rid of fossil fuels. Well, like, what about, say, stopping fracking and stopping yeah. pipe? Would there be any place for fossil fuels, including coal and fracking, in a Biden administration? No, it would be, we, would, we would work it out. We would make oh. sure it's eliminated. We would work it out. I <laughs> we would work it out. I guarantee you. We're going to end fossil fuel, and I am not going to He is pretty clear. <laughs> it was a guarantee. No end. ability for the oil industry to continue to drill, period. Ends. Number Ooh. one. Three consecutive Done. American presidents have enjoyed stints of explosive economic growth due to a boom in oil and natural gas production. As president, would you be willing to sacrifice some of that growth, even knowing potentially that it could displace thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of blue collar workers in the interest of transitioning to that greener economy? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> so just to be clear, all of that is not enough for AOC. AOC is saying he's clearly against right. fracking. Be I don't know what's political expediency at this point. None of what these people say are true. For all of the for all of the problems you have with Donald Trump, and I have many too, you yeah. pretty much know that what he says he's going to do, he's going to do. And sometimes you're like, I don't know yeah. if you should do that, but he said he is, so he already boxed himself. <laughs> he's going to have yeah. to do it, gonna and do we're going to have Funny Hat Tuesday be a national holiday. <laughs> Please, Donald Trump. <laughs> mandate. Yeah, even when he does, uh, even when Donald Trump does the art of the deal thing, where he talks past it and then gives himself room to negotiate back. Yeah. It is the same direction. Right. It's yeah. not just the opposite. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No, exactly. <laughs> um, so, but that's not enough for AOC. And here's something that's interesting. Now, AOC has changed her tune. What was, it, what was that pack that mm. uh, the Young Turks, uh, 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 Reg can probably tell me, or someone there can, maybe Maddie, Reg can, what was the name of the pack for the, from the Young Turks? Justice Turn? Democrats. Justice Democrats. Yeah, yeah. AOC was a Justice Democrats <laughs> right. candidate where she was the one who was supposed to go in and oust the old yeah. Democrats, no, right? That was right. her yeah, whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, now she's saying that, Young activists are actually disciplined and aren't voting for their favorite person, but she's explaining why it'll be a good thing now for young people to not vote for radical Democrats like Justice Democrats like AOC and like Bernie Rashida Tlaib, but the guy who's been in office for 48 years and uh, uh, opposed desegregation yeah. uh, <laughs> oh, right. and, and busing. Here you go. People right now have a very disciplined activist mindset, and they are not here with the intent of voting for their favorite person or voting for, uh, you know, truth. someone that they think is perfect. <laughs> they believe that they want to vote for a president that is at least going to be receptive uh, to their advocacy, activism. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Um, so basically, <laughs> Biden... It'll do. <laughs> well, yeah. And receptive yeah, to enough. their advocacy is just like puppet. Yeah, it's just yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, being yeah, my puppet like, for me. Basically, right. you know, like honestly, here's the thing: is I don't. I mean, I don't. I've had a real. I can't put my hand up Donald Trump's ass and make him do. <laughs> but yeah. with Biden, he's actually receptive, and I can say, "So right, so right, so right, so right." And I put on a little bit of lipstick, and it's it's Senior Biden, and that is an act <laughs> that I can travel with. So uh, she's like, oh, maybe he's good enough. <laughs> Just this time last year, she said that she'd be damned oh. if she let a politician oh. Oh. like, I don't know, pulling a name out of thin air, Joe Biden, ah. uh, take office.
And I will be damned Ooh. if the oh. same politicians <laughs> yes, will. who refuse to <laughs> act then are going to try to come back today and say we need a middle of the the middle of the road approach to save our lives. That is too much for me. Don't make fun of her stutter. <laughs> <laughs> to save our lives. I'll be damned. So sassy. I guess God's so. just going Jack. <laughs> uh, um, if, I'm <laughs> ten steps ahead of you. So there you go. If I'll be insane. damned yes. if there's going to be a Joe Biden type. And now she's like, but we're also we're also really disciplined because we understand that yeah. we only have a Joe Biden type. So it's this is this is how <laughs> damning the fossil fuel comments were at this last debate, and this yeah. is why the media does not want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. It is campaign ending hmm. and you can see everyone spinning their wheels trying to get out of it and i right. want to know people out there who work in energy what you think and if you have people who maybe have changed their votes because we have a lot of people who work Same in energy in the a lot of people yeah. across the country yeah. um then she also talked about you know of course fracking well she said the science is in and fracking aoc said it's oh. far worse for the environment it's just here's <laughs> Here's, here's the clip. The science is very clear. Mm. Uh, the methane emissions from fracking are up to 64 times more powerful than CO2 emissions at trapping heat in the air. And just from a perspective of stopping climate, climate change, you know, there is a scientific consensus. Okay, uh, none of that is true. Fracking, <laughs> <laughs> fracking is far cleaner. <laughs> fracking is far cleaner. People need to understand that than most ways that we can actually get any kinds of fossil fuels. Yeah. And the whole consensus, like she's trying to say there's consensus on fracking. There isn't even... That's not it's even an argument that you can consensus. make scientifically, but then the argument, so there's scientific consensus in general on climate change, the 97%. I mean, that's not a true number. You can go to letterscarter.com. We wrote about it. It was actually uh, a, a review. It was the 97% study. It was just 0.3% endorsement of the standard definition of consensus. Uh, wow. This is not something that is true when people throw out 97%. doesn't mean that most scientists don't believe that there's some kind of climate change. Yes. But the idea that the Paris Accord is going to, or sorry, what is it, the Paris Agreement? Montreal Paris Agreement, Paris, Kyoto yeah. Protocol, Paris Accord. Paris Accord. Yeah. But that's going to change it, or the idea that fracking is worse for the environment. There is no science on that. There is science to the opposite of that. Fracking <laughs> is safer. Uh, and also offshore drilling here in the United States is safer. Not only because they have, well, okay. How many tanks do you think? How many mm. tanker ships? Is that what they're yeah, called? Tanker, Giant tankers. Tankers, yeah. tankers have spills. In a given year, you're talking about many tens of bring this up to cute Maddie, many yeah. tens of thousands, hundreds wow. of thousands of tons of oil that gets oh. spilled wow. because they're traveling across the ocean. Think about this for a second. It's traveling across the ocean. Here's <laughs> here are the two processes we can have when we're talking about energy and we're yeah. talking about fracking. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know you don't like any oil or fossil fuel, and I understand yeah. that. But the fact is, we're not at we're not at sunshine and farts yet. <laughs> So Close. right now, we all know that we need to transition off. Even Joe Biden yeah. said, yeah, I'll ban it, but we're going to have to work it out. Transition. Well, how? Ah, ah. So <laughs> we're going to build we back. We all acknowledge we have to transition. You know. So at this point, if we use any fossil fuels, what is the better way to get it? From other countries, Saudi Arabia, countries in the Middle East, where, you know, we have the EPA, they have their comparable nothing. They don't use any standards at all. And then putting this oil on tankers that have to cross thousands of miles of ocean where it makes the BP oil spill look like a puddle that you maybe yeah. see yeah. under an old Saturn on the Los Angeles sidewalk. Yeah. That, day after day, year after year, or a scientifically improved safer method with fewer risks of contamination, yeah. of spillage here in the United <laughs> States that also makes us energy independent so that we don't support these countries who, by the way, beat the shit out of a woman if she tries to drive stick. <laughs> I can't even make it all the way to my chair without spilling my coffee all over myself. And I can't, <laughs> I, and they're having to transport <laughs> gallons of oil or Tommy miles the tugboat. and miles. Yeah, it's exactly. just bringing tar. <laughs> you know what's actually a cleaner? By the way, we talk about oil all the time with fracking. The Biggest, the abundant thing is natural gas. Do you know what natural gas does when you burn it? It's much cleaner burn. than right. coal. Like, much, much, much. The consensus is out on that. It right. is well, that's much what I'm cleaner fracking, to use all this that. Stuff. Fracking, fossil fuel, yeah. the way that yeah. we do it. There are cleaner ways we've improved yeah, upon them. And by the way, after we go exclusively to Mug Club, I'm going to make the airtight case that I feel very confident in that Republicans, conservatism have actually done more for the green energy sector, and they are better if you want to save the environment than the Democrats. Yes. Um, some of these reasons may surprise you, but hint, it involves Elon Musk, who I believe is South ah. African, but he also sounds like he could oh. be 
uh, Australian or just German. I don't know. I don't, I don't trust him. Yeah. Mysterious. <laughs> but he's a mysterious man. Uh, here's another claim that AOC made trying to. It's funny that she. The, the fact that she is being brought out to spin for the Biden campaign tells yeah. you how desperate they <laughs> right. are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, can't you go out there and get on Twitch? <laughs> yeah, it's like we're gonna take some call- we're gonna take some calls from other Twitch gamers and just Hunter Biden some as the calls. exhale of the crap. Right. <laughs> <gasps> That's a good head. Get, get out of here, Tammy. Get out of here, Tammy. I don't uh. want the feds watching my Twitch stream. <laughs> I muted my Tammy's camera. The name of a fifteen-year-old. She also <laughs> said, "This is one that's crazy to me." Where we Tamara. talk about no, no accountability. She said that green energy was actually cheap. And here's the thing: the argument right now is we can't afford to just try and go all the way to so. Like it's right. well accepted that it's way more expensive, but people say, yeah. "Well, you know what? Uh, Earth it's is worth more it. important right, because yeah. it's gone up 1.6 degrees over the last century, which you wouldn't determine <laughs> in the thermostat." But if we don't do something, it's going to be like Terminator 2 when Skynet falls. So we say that it's worth the extra price. But she actually now is making the argument, which no scientist or economist will undergird, that green energy is cheaper than fossil fuels and natural gas. The fact of the matter is, is that if you do believe in markets, solar and renewable energies are growing less and less expensive by the day. And in many areas, uh, they are starting to become less expensive than fossil fuels. No. <laughs> by the way, whenever they How say many for people who support the market, it's like when this is coming from someone who never supports the market, <laughs> right. like I get what you're about to do. And I've got, you know what? I've got my lie detector ready. And it's just <laughs> called a pencil and notepad. And to, to detect your lie, I just need to rewrite it and go, <laughs> and now, no, that's exactly what I thought she said. <laughs> Solar wind energy are two to three times more expensive than fossil fuels. Oh, two to three oh, times wow. more expensive than fossil fuels. <laughs> it's not even close. You and the big reason for that, that is because of government intervention and government subsidies that have actually handicapped the green, en uh, green energy industry. And this is just something that I, I want to hear from you guys if you think that this could have cost Biden the election. It would have cost Biden the election if we had a media who <laughs> actually were critical, even yeah. remotely, yeah, of know. both candidates. Not only that, remember George H.W. Bush? He had a look at his watch moment. That was a huge thing. He did, yeah. People were like, oh, it looked like he was disinterested. Well, Biden was looking at his watch just because he wanted to, <laughs> he wanted to check his pulse. He thought he had died. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't mention this at all. So the media, you just see the contrast. George H.W. Bush, it was what lost him the election, some people would argue. Hmm. Joe Biden is yeah. not only looking at his watch, he's just flat out lying all the time. And now he's ha he's so behind that he's putting a lid on all of his campaigning days yeah. at 9, 10, 11. Not even, a good, like, not even enough to do like a brunch fundraiser. <laughs> <laughs> and he's sending out AOC yeah. effectively as a proxy. Boy, that to yeah. me is a sign of desperation. Watch Good Morning Mug Club live every Monday through Thursday at 10.15 Eastern.